the best camera phone just got five new upgrades. First up, the design looks much cleaner this time with the brand new action button on the right. The phone is also slightly thinner and lighter than before. Another nice upgrade is this. The display is now completely flat instead of quad curve. Specs wise, it's still the same 6.78 inch 1.5K AMOLED display with 4500 nits of peak brightness and stereo speakers also sound pretty good. Next up, performance. There's the latest Dimensity 9500 chipset with all new CPU and GPU setup with the new dual 4 lane UFS 4.1 storage. So yeah, the benchmark numbers are very solid and the phone is super smooth to game and also in regular usage. The battery has also gotten a small jump and there's still a 90 watt charger in the box and it also supports 40 watt wireless charging. Let's talk cameras now. The main camera is a new 50 megapixel LYT828 sensor, Periscope is also the new 200 megapixel ISOCELL HPB sensor at 85mm and the ultrawide is the same 50 megapixel one. The photos come out very solid and the phone performs really well at night than before. And not just that, the phone can record 4K 120fps 10-bit log video and that too without an external SSD. And you can even record 4K 120fps Dolby Vision videos along with 4K 60fps portrait videos. By the way, the front camera is also upgraded to a 50 megapixel sensor with autofocus so the selfies are also super awesome. This is the Vivo X300 Pro and it has already launched in China for the same price as last year. And in India, it should be around 94 triple nine. Which phone do you want us to compare it with? Tell me in the comments and I'll... Uh, bye.